Hey, so why should you learn HTML and uh, CSS? So once in a while you'll come across some issues on the internet and these issues will probably be in someone else's website. For example, I'm here on Skillshare and let's say you're interested in joining the Skillshare Affiliates Network and then you click down there on Affiliates then if you come to the Affiliates page and you click on Join for Free you'll see that there is already an issue with this form. This is a pop-up form and if you're on a computer if you click here you'll see that the form disappears so if you don't know HTML and CSS you'll be frustrated and probably go to social media and uh, say what uh, what a bad experience you had but if you know HTML and CSS you know that you can use Firebug to make this form work the way you want it you'll make you'll just make it uh, such that it can scroll so that you'll be able to scroll if I click here it goes away and as I can see there is no way for me to scroll down once I reach this point and therefore I'm going to use Firebug I'm going to use Firebug to make this form be the way I want it so that at least I can fill in these details. So to open Firebug, I'll just click F12. So if you're on Chrome, I'm on Mozilla, I'm on Firefox. If you're using Chrome, you can also do the same thing using the Chrome developer tools. These are things you'll know about if you know about HTML and CSS. So I can see this is affecting uh, affecting my visibility. So I'll just come down here and uh, and uh, change the Firebug UI location and make it detached. So once I make it detached, I can just come here and uh, select. So if I select that, I know the issue is probably with the the unordered list. So if I do this, I select the unordered list and then I give it a height. Let's say I give it a height of 500 px and then uh, I give it uh, something called overflow. So if I give it an overflow and uh, I don't care whether it's uh, overflow scrolling in the X axis or the Y axis. I'll just do overflow scroll. And just with that, if I come here, you'll see that now I can scroll. Okay. I can scroll, but still there's a part of it that is not visible. So I can still not see uh, what's it called. I can still not see the, the sign up button. So let me try to reduce the width of this to 400 if that's going to help. And if I reduce the width to 400, you see that now I can fill all this form. And I will also be able to submit. So you'll see once it reloads, all that disappears. So in this case, what I can do, I can just reload. I can just reload the entire page to do away with the changes that I made. And if I come here and click, and once the form reloads, I can do the same thing. So make sure you fill all the fields correctly. Well, if this was, uh, if you're here signing up for the affiliate, You'd make sure you've so you'd make sure that you have filled in all the areas correctly. So once I do that, I can fill in everything. And you know, with Firebug, 
if you reload the page all the changes you've made disappears so once you once you've rectified the form using firebug and you make sure you fill all the for all, all the fields correctly because if this reloads all the changes you've made will be lost so you can see if you have html and css knowledge these are things you can uh, you can uh, go around and do for yourself okay so i i hope you've seen one reason why you should be able to look into learning html and css in this case i only did uh, some css changes here and there along the internet you'll come across different websites that have different issues maybe there's something that is not clear maybe there's something that is just not uh, visible but if you know css you can make a change and just go about doing your own things without reloading the page okay that's it